all the macros. So again, macros are just in the actions list, and basically they're a list of actions or a set of actions that can be all in one key binding. So I'm not going to go through every single macro. Most of the macros are what you know from Pro Tools. To open a project is the same. To consolidate, they call it glue and reaper, but it's the same. Silence is the same. New track is the same. Most things are actually exactly the same shortcuts that you know from Pro Tools. But I do want to go over all the additions and all the changes that I've done with these macros. For one is transient. So instead of having it as a button, it's now just at your fingertips with command page up and command page down. That is now your tab to transient back and forth. A new addition, totally new, is raising the volume up and down in very easy fashion. So you can do it through the mouse modifier, which if you look at the video with the mouse modifier, uh, you can actually just press a key command and then mouse the volume up and down, which is super fast as well. But I think an even faster way, especially if you're zoomed out, is you can just select items and then do a key command. I have it as command minus and plus. It's one dB at a time. So it's actually the most accurate and fast way to do volume changes, I think. And it's per clip. So you can do it with one clip, or if you select them all, you can do uh, all the clips. Fades. Fades are a little different in Reaper. It's the same key commands, essentially, which is D to fade in, but it's based on where your mouse is rather than having to click where the edit cursor is and then put a fade. It's just based wherever your mouse is. So that's D and G. And to just take off fades, I have it as Control F, and that takes away all the fades if you need to move it easily. But I found that doing fades with D and G are just incredibly quick. Grouping. So grouping is a little different. Instead of um, having grouping with tracks, because it's so easy to group tracks in Reaper, you just select the tracks, right click, and you do the group. And there you go. Group settings. Very easy. So I decided to have all the group shortcuts as item groups. So it's the same shortcuts as you would think for the tracks. So command G, and you have a group now of these three clips. And you can then select your clips and do Command Shift G, and that just takes away grouping in general. It doesn't take away from the group, it just turns off grouping. And then Command Shift G, and it's back. And then if you want to take this one clip out of the group, you just do Shift G. And there you go. Now you just have two. And you could take these off too if you wanted to as well. Duplicate tracks which is a really cool shortcut, is just Shift-D, and it duplicates your track. Super easy, way faster. FX chains per clip. So I decided to make the FX chain E, and it brings up the FX chain per clip that you would like, rather than the Control e then is like Pro Tools where it edits. But just E itself brings up effects. Open new project tab, because that's not in Pro Tools at all. I made it Command Option N, is new project and if you're in windows it's control alt in normalize is just shift in and you can normalize a clip super quick and easy command r is, is reverse super easy command p is pitch and it's per clip whatever your mouse is on so you don't even have to select the clip it just is wherever your mouse is you do control or command p and there you go you got the pitch Trimming clips is A and D, just like Pro Tools, but it's based on the mouse rather than the edit. So the edit can be over here, and you can press A. And then toggle tab sessions is I made it the number one. So you can toggle through all the tab sessions that you have. And last but not least, delete. So I made delete different from backspace. Backspace I have as a script that you can get on the website. And it works exactly like Pro Tools. So whatever you have highlighted, if you press in the time selection, if you press backspace, it cuts what's ever in the time selection. Delete, though, works like how Reaper thinks of, of deleting. And that means whatever you have selected, it could be items, it could be envelopes, whatever you have selected, it'll delete that. So those are all the changes and differences in the macros, and it's free to use.